Whether you're working at home, maybe telecommuting, or in a cubicle, there's one thing you can do to fix up mm -hmm. any office, and that's recycling your paper. Now, this is something I have to get better at, too. Yeah. In fact, the average office worker throws away around 175 pounds of paper Yikes. a year, and that's partially because they're just not sure what exactly can be recycled. For example, this is white paper, but it is stapled, as you can see here, and it's covered with post-it notes like that call mom now what do you have to do before it goes into the recycling bin uh nothing that's right not a thing there it goes you don't have to pry out the staples that stuff gets all sorted out at the recycling center very I'll handy figure. now yep. once the paper gets there some amazing things can happen to it mm -hmm. our salvage queen yvette rios she loves to furnish <laughs> homes with leftovers that's right. so today she's checking out kitchen counters made of what else paper this probably looks pretty familiar. It's a bunch of recyclable paper. And you know what? We all try to recycle. We know it's good for the environment. But I came all the way out here to Tacoma, Washington to meet up with my good pal, Joel Clippert, who has come up with a way to recycle that is really out of the box. We are an environmentally friendly composite company. Our goal is to design, develop, and manufacture the most environmentally friendly composite products in the world. Uh, Ecotop is my new latest and greatest creation. Hey, you! How you doing? Hey! Long time no see. Very nice to see you. So, Joel, I've always thought that I knew a lot about recycling, but you're kind of always pushing the envelope with recycling. Paper countertops. Most people, when they see these finished products, they're like, you got to be kidding. This, yeah, it's This shocking. isn't paper. We actually use demolition wood fiber along with paper fiber, and we've blended in a new ingredient, which is rapidly renewable bamboo fiber. And then what do you do with it? Basically, these fibers are brought to a, a paper mill, and they make this. This it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't have any smell to it. The so it goes here. from this to, to the puree. this, and then you make these sheets. Correct. Great big rolls of it. The rolls are as big wow. as a Volkswagen bug. So, okay, I want to see the next step in this process. Absolutely. Let's, Let's set it up. This is Arkland Surfaces. They're our partner that works with us on developing all of these products and uh, really is uh, the factory where we take sheets of this paper and treat it with resin and turn it into a countertop. Awesome. I can't wait. Let's do it. Let's go do it. Okay. This is where all the top secret extra special stuff happens. You ready? I'm ready. Thank so you. you are the chemist behind this fantastic resin. Yes, and I guess what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, actually uh, make some product, uh, hand treat some material. Okay. And this is the paper that we're going to be using. We've got uh, some resin. It's, this is a uh, water-based uh, proprietary resin that we're using to saturate the paper with. What you do is uh, you lay the paper on top of the resin to allow the, the resin to saturate on through the paper. Okay. It drives the air out of that paper. Wow. Color. Now we'll pass that through these set of bars. And actually, oh, yeah. we're going to put it on a set of hangers, place this in the oven. I guess it's got to get nice and dry. Absolutely. Ooh, this is, is going to. Do you guys ever make like a turkey or anything in here? No. <laughs> not, not usually, no. Not usually. No. And this and is exactly what you do on a huge scale with giant sheets then. Absolutely. And, and this, this drying process is curing it, correct? It, it's partial. It's a partial cure. It's not going to be 100% cured so that uh, when it gets to the next phase where we're actually pressing the laminate, then uh, the, this resin will actually flow and consolidate much like a glue in order to keep it all together. I see. All right. So we grab this. And we can trim it. So this would just kind of work just to get one sheet of this. So how many of these do you need for one piece of countertop? Yeah, you know, it's proprietary information. We don't really tell people how many sheets I of paper we put in there. I see your proprietary information. That's right. So what have we got here, Joel? This is the finished palletized treated paper. So all the high-tech stuff that goes on here is now packaged up in these bundles to go be pressed into the final product. So let's go. Let's go check out the next Let's go set. do it. Come on over, guys, and we'll go through the process again on the bench here. Terrific. First, we have the raw paper, then we have the resin, then we have the treated sheets. Perfect. Next, we have the stack that's ready to go into the press. Okay, cool. You're just going to slide them in between the two platens, and now we're going to close it down, and it's going to get uh, just this. heat, pressure, and time mm -hmm. is what turns this into our finished product. Nice. 
Okay, hit the yellow button and let's get her out. Wow. It looks awesome. I love the espresso color. Spritz. <laughs> I love it too. It's very, very cool. But you know what, Joel? This can't go into somebody's kitchen just like this, can it? No, it's still got to be cut and shipped, and then uh, it goes to a countertop fabrication facility, and that's where we're heading next. Okay, let's do it. All right. Travis, how are you? Hello there, nice to Joel. See you again. Thank you. I want to introduce you to my friend, Yvette. Hey, Hello, Travis, Yvette. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. So we've got our new piece of Eco Top here. Check it out. Wow. It's the brand new Espresso Color. Fantastic. So what's the next step? What do we do? To be able to show you what this is going to turn out to look like, we first need to work on a countertop that I already have set up. Cool. Oh so what's this? This is a new vanity countertop. What nice color is work. this, Travis? Yeah. This is cashew. OK, cool. So what can I help you with? We're putting a sink cut out into the center of the countertop. OK. Oh my gosh, I totally dig it. It's just shocking to me that this is paper and bamboo fiber. Like, that freaks me out. I'm glad you like it. I really, really dig it. Okay, what's the next step then? I believe that uh, we're going to go install the stuff. Oh, rock right on. So let's go do that. This is my first countertop. Well, you did a fantastic job, too. Thank you. Joel, thank you so much. I've had the most amazing time. I love what you're doing, and I can't wait to come thank back you. next time. You're probably going to be cooking up some other crazy eco invention. Probably. You're like that. <laughs> Joel is a true eco entrepreneur, and he's taking salvaging to a whole nother level. He's making product that's smarter, greener, and better. And that's just good.